Okay, what I'm going to do now is draw the rest of the blocks so that you guys have something to work with as far as drawing your um, dragster. But first I realize that this bright blue isn't really showing up on the video, so the way you can change the color of a layer is to come up here to the layer control and just click on the color next to block and let's make him like pink or something. There we go. So now I want to offset this line up 20 millimeters because that's the height of the front of the block. So I'm going to once again type in offset, 20, enter, click the line, click above it. Now I need to connect this corner to this corner. So I'm going to come up here and click on line. And notice the object snap is still working because it found me the endpoint and it found me that intersection hit escape to get out of the command and now I need to get rid of this line and the way I can get rid of that line is just click on it and press delete but now I have to take away this one click on it press delete and this one poses a little bit of a problem because I only want to get rid of part of it so I'm going to use the trim command type in trim and yes I'm old school and I type in all the commands so there you go notice that your cursor turns into a little box you're going to click the boundary, which is going to be this. Right click anywhere. Notice that AutoCAD is prompting you and it says select objects to trim. And I get rid of that. Press enter. There's your the outline of your side view and your top view. Now we have to draw the hole that's in the back of the dragster. And this is really important, especially if you're doing wheels underneath. Because if you're doing wheels underneath, you have to be able to know where the hole is so that you don't cut into it. So we are going to offset yet again and I know that the from the bottom of the, this view up it's 25 so I type in 25 click enter and there's a way you guys can recycle the offset command which I'm going to show you which is going to make your life a lot easier and make this move a lot faster. You can right click anywhere in the black and pick repeat offset and then you put in the number 20 enter click the line click above it enter right click repeat offset now I'm going to move this line to the left and that is going to go 54 enter click the line click to the left enter now I need to trim up this mess so I'm going to type in trim. I'm going to click this line. And I'm going to right click anywhere in the black anywhere in the black. And then I'm going to click what I want to trim. Press enter. And you can also recycle this command by right clicking and picking repeat trim. I'm going to click this line. Right click somewhere in the black. Click this line. Click this line. Enter. Right click. Repeat trim. Click your boundary, right click, select what you want to get rid of, press enter again. Now, this box is a hidden line. So in order to change something from one layer to another, you highlight it by clicking on it. And notice it gets these blue handles. And then you just come up to the layer control box and you select the layer that you want it to be on. So press enter or escape. There we go, escape did it and there is my hidden line. Now I'm going to zoom up on it by rolling my mouse button and you guys know that whenever you have a hole you, you have hidden lines and you also have a center line so let's go ahead and give it a center line. So I'm, so I'm going to type offset, enter, I'm going to put in 10, enter, click this line, click below it, enter, right click, repeat offset. Now we have to make the center line stick out because you guys know center lines stick out. And in a metric drawing, the center lines stick out three millimeters from each side. So we're going to type in three, enter, pick this line, go to the right three, pick this line, go to the right three, enter. Now I want this line to touch these two boundary lines. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the the command that's opposite of trim. It's extend. So just type in extend. I'm going to pick my boundary, this one, right click anywhere in the black, click the line I want to extend, press enter, 
right click, repeat extend, click this line, right click, click the line I want to extend, enter. Now I don't need this line anymore, so I'm going to click on it. I don't need this line anymore, and I'm going to press delete. Now I need to change this middle hidden line to a center, so I click on it, and I come on up here and I go to center, and I press escape. Now I need to draw my hole in the top view. So I'm going to get on my hidden layer, I'm going to click line, I'm going to get this corner and I'm going to bring it straight up. If your line doesn't want to go straight, F8 makes it go straight. F8 is the keyboard shortcut for orth trap. It will only let you draw straight up and down or straight across. Once I get the line where I want it, right click, enter. And now I need to draw a center line here. And that's what your friend Object Snap can help you with. Come over here, back down to Object Snap, right click on it, Object Snap Settings, pick Midpoint, tell it OK. Generally Midpoint will drive you crazy, so only turn it on when you need it. Switch to your center layer, click on Line, and notice when I come to the middle now I get a triangle. AutoCAD has found the midpoint. Once again, if you want to keep your line straight, F8 makes them go straight. Draw it all the way through, right click and enter. I'm going to zoom up on this uh, top view. I'm going to use my little pan hand. Right click exit. Now I need to make the diameter of the hole. So once again, I'm going to use offset, enter, 10, enter. This is going to go up 10. It's also going to go down 10. So I just click on it and click the direction I want. I don't need to press enter in between the two commands. Now that I have all my offsets done, I'm going to press enter though. I want this to be a hidden line, so I'm going to click it. I want this to be a hidden line, so I'm going to click it. I'm going to come up here to layer control and change to hidden. Enter. Now I'm stuck in a command that thinks I still want to offset, so if that ever happens to you, just hit escape. Now I'm going to trim away what I don't want. So I'm going to type in trim. I am going to use this as a boundary. So I click on it, then I right click. And a fast way to get rid of a bunch of things, other than throwing out fifth period advisory, is to drag a box around them. So notice I delete, I trimmed three lines at one time with just one click. Press enter, right click, repeat trim, select this line as a boundary, and this line as a boundary, because I want to keep what's in between them, but I don't want this stuff hanging out. Right click anywhere in the black, get rid of this, get rid of that, enter. Now, once again, i got to make my center line stick out. So type in offset, 3, enter, click this line, go to the right, click this line, go to the left, enter, and just like we did before, type in extend, select this as a boundary, select that as a boundary, right click, select what you want to extend. Enter. Get rid of your the lines you used to stretch that out. And type in zoom all and that will bring everything back on the screen for you. So now you are ready to actually draw your dragster on the block.